what I wanted to, to look at exactly what uh, Dana brought up and also what uh, you brought up uh, about how uh, people are looking, and we say people are looking for a mirror, but we're looking for a mirror, right? And we have to remember that all the time. Uh, those of us who are very active and uh, concerned about what's happening, we have to also check ourselves all the time. And that's why I think you asked me to ring the bell at the beginning, uh, because of course I'm a Buddhist and uh, uh, a Zen Buddhist, and we focus very much on using our bodies as a kind of tuning fork to what's going on. So if I'm looking at my Twitter feed, and all of a sudden it's yum, 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 I'm going to go there. You know, it's a good idea to take a breath, and what, what's appealing to me? What is that? Uh, in the Buddhist tradition, we, we have the three poisons the things we have to really watch out for. And the first one is grasping. It's that going for it uh, without, without really, I mean, there are beautiful, one, I've just come from Rome, there are beautiful, wonderful things all over the world, of art, and, and also there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff we grasp for that is uh, alienating and is harmful. And that's the first poison. And, and the second poison, of course, is aversion, which also happens when we're reading the paper or uh, online and something comes up and we don't agree, and the anger and uh, the wanting to push them away, um, which leads to the third poison, which is indifference. Uh, that doesn't, that's not about me. It's about those people over there. That, oh, that earthquake was in Mexico City. I don't know anything about that. Or the Rohingyas over there. That's not my people. I don't have to worry about that. Or the people who voted for Trump. I don't have to worry about that. And, and it, it seems to me that each time we, uh, we, we, we begin to imbibe a lot of information, we, we need to just take that moment. It just takes a second to check your body. You can feel that <laughs> or <laughs> You can just feel it and, and know where that's coming from and see what, what's being appealed to by others. And, uh, and for me, that's, that's the big teaching. Because once I'm clear myself about this, then I can, I can begin to work with others kind of intelligently uh, without carrying all my biases in.